Hey guys, Kev here. And I want to do a quick video just kind of showing you these two drivers I got. I did an unboxing. These are the Blackwater Machine Works drivers. Um, they're really cool. Um, I did post this one up for sale already um, on my Instagram and Reddit. We'll see if it sells. And um, this one I plan on keeping. Now, it has nothing to do with the fact that it's not good or anything like that. It's just I have so many drivers. I really didn't need to buy two more. And I just kind of like the colors of this one. I like the louder spin. I think part of that is this one has the black ceramic balls, which tend to be louder. And this one has the Fordite cap, which is probably a thicker material than this resin, right? Um, I did super glue the caps on, so they came off pretty easily. And I just, I don't know, I don't like that with caps. So I just put a little dab of glue around, you know, I put a, I took a Q-tip and kind of went around and then just put it on and have had zero issue. They're on there well. Um, this one will spin longer because it has the white ceramic, which they just tend to spin longer, but they're quieter. This one has the black ceramic. They are louder and they have a little more feedback, I guess, and they spin a little bit less. <laughs> So just so you can see, this one does have a little more movement. Now, I don't think that's the bearings. I think that's like the tolerance and how the stem was seated in it or the cap was seated. Maybe the cap's a little off. I don't know. Um, but both are fantastic for, you know, the actual purpose of um, being a driver. You can see there that one's about to stop. But um, they both spin well. You know, you just want it to be in your palm. You want to put your bit in and you want to be able to spin like this when you need to drive something in or, you know, screw something out quickly. You can do that with uh, these. Now, one thing I want to note is these resin materials, um, they're really lightweight. So it just has a completely different feel than other drivers that I have. And I like that. Um and like I said, I do want to keep this one around. I really, really like the colors. I like the feel of this uh, cap on here and everything. Uh, and I just think it's cool. I also noticed that when you drop this one in, obviously magnets, nice, brings it in, seats at home. This one really like snaps. Oops. So it's like the little things for me, that acoustic, the bearing acoustic. I don't know. It's just the little things. So I had to, I had to obviously pick one, and I decided on this one. Again, this is a Fordite cap, which is really cool material. Uh, a lot of people don't talk about it, but I, I really think it's a unique cap there. Um, I think he did a great job machining these. Uh, real quick look at both. You can see that really just unique pattern of whatever that material is in there. It didn't have, I don't think it had this black stuff in there. I think that's kind of what my glue did when it, uh, I don't know, meshed with the resin. I don't know if that's just a chemical thing, but look at that, really sweet. You can watch the, right there where he mounts it and everything. Really just cool looking. And then you have the resin throughout here magnet in there nicely nice and snug it looks like oops pops in there really good feels good in the hand yeah i really dig it and then you have this one it's got that black and white sort of zebra painted look to it again magnets nicely seated in there pops in really well Here's your Fordite cap. Fordite is a really cool, unique material. Look at that, just blue in there with the black. Look at that. So yeah, I don't know. Now I kind of just want to keep both. So really cool stuff. Really digging these drivers. If you want to see a size comparison, I thought that would probably be a good thing to do as well. I don't want to get into all my drivers, but I might as well show them to you side by side so you can see the difference. It's just hard because everything rolls around here. 
So this is the Get Good Screw Screw Prime medium size. And then we'll ah! just dropped a bunch of Q-tips there. Let me grab this one. On this side, we'll put the small Get Good Screw. See, this is what I was worried about. I'm trying to put them all cap to cap. And now the magnets are playing. But anyway, you get the idea. And then I have the Brian Brown Vulcan driver. Right there. And then I have the Journey Tool Co. I need a straighter desk. Seriously. There's the Journey Tool Co. Tourist driver. Try to get them all in. And then you have, I think that's it. Then you have the stubby from Weeha. So there you go. Those are all my drivers, I think. Right now, what am I missing? No, I think that's everything. I sold the combat beads on because I just, again, I had too many. And like nobody needs seven drivers, right? Six bougie ones is very unnecessary. These are both the resin. That one's aluminum blasted, but it's Journey Tool Coast. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, Timascus, Titanium, Zirconium. Just, yeah, I know. So anyway, I was thinking about selling this one to kind of make way. Um, I actually was thinking about selling the Brian Brown one just because it's, it's thinner, it's smaller, it doesn't have the torque. But it's kind of nice to have that when you need precision, right? I kind of like having this for that. So I usually usually use this for um, T6 stuff. That's when I use this guy. Um, and it's Zerk, and I don't know, it just, it was a great price. I think it was like 135 bucks for that. Um, just seems silly to sell that one. And then I love the good screw ones. They're just really good. They spin really well. They're comfortable in hand. They're made really well, so... They seem silly to sell as well, so I don't know. So that's why this one's kind of like I have the one, might as well, you know. Um, so yeah, if anybody's interested in a driver, let me know. And uh, if it's still available, I will sell it to you. I was going to sell it for, I paid $175, so I was going to sell it for $150. If you want to make an offer, let me know. But uh, definitely check out Blackwater Machine Works. You can always try to find your own if you like this color or you like something else. He had silver. He had, like, real silver. And then he had um, other ones like this. You know, he uses different caps, different ceramic bearings. Just really cool stuff. So shout out to him. Uh, he's linked below. Go check out his Instagram. Uh, hit him up if you want a driver. I don't know if he does like custom builds or anything, but it's a great size, guys. The, one of the best drivers I've ever had is the Journey Tool Co. I mean, if you took everything away from me and said you could only keep one, Kev, it would probably be this driver just because of the size and the way it fits into my hand. Once the bit's in there, it's just I can get precision. I can get enough torque. Um, it spins well enough. Like it's not going to spin the longest on the back here, but I don't need it to do more than that. You know what I mean? Like it's still fantastic. Um, and this, it's like, this is the gold standard ergonomically, I'd say, and size wise. And look, just a hair longer, right? Um, and I would argue a better cap on this. So... This feels really good in the hand. Now, my downside to it is it's this resin stuff, so it's a little bit slicker, right? This has that blasted feel on the aluminum, so I get good grip on this, where I'm a sweaty dude, so when I get sweaty, this gets a little bit slippery. That's one thing I don't love about the Timascus one. As much as I love this, 
I get a little slippery on there, where on this guy, I don't, because it's got that sort of blasted finish. Um, this one's a little bit better, but it's still got the same kind of finish. I love this because it's blasted zerk, blasted aluminum, so you see where I'm going with that. Um, but this is still sweet as hell, so there you go. Let me know what you guys think. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.